Welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and thank you so much for joining us. Our guest today, Henry Waxman, member of the United States Congress. Sir, thank you so much for joining us thank again. You. Pleased to be I with you. I want to talk to you about the payroll tax extension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, could you explain that to us, and then we'll get into the politics of it. Well, <clears throat> President Obama proposed a lot of different things in order to get people working, because that's, that's the urgent thing in our economy now, get people working. And then when they start working and the economy starts moving, we'll get the revenues and, uh, the, and the growth will help us out of the deficit. But the only thing he could get through was a reduction in the payroll tax. Payroll tax is paid by both the employer and the employee. It goes into FICA and Social Security. And we did see an extension of it for two months. It was a yeah. dramatic political fight. Yeah. I guess what I'm wondering is, look, we all want our taxes to be lower. Right. We have a huge deficit, though. Do we have, let's call it the luxury, to cut taxes to the extent that we have a deficit that continues to grow? Well, they, these are cuts in taxes that go to people in the middle class and lower. And that money will be spent because people will need that money. They'll use that money, and that will help move the economy. Taxes for the uh, billionaires can be put away for their savings what and was, their investments. What was most interesting to many of us is that when you look at the parties as a mm -hmm. general proposition, the Democratic Party, supporters of middle class, but tax cuts, not necessarily their forte. Right. The Republican Party has always right. been about tax cuts, and yet in this situation, the roles were flipped. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Well, two things. They don't want to do anything that Obama wants done, mm. even if they believe in it. And then finally, they were embarrassed of supporting it but then wanted to blackmail the, the administration on things like the Keystone XL pipeline, which has nothing to do with the uh, and, payroll tax. And let's talk about that. In 2011, it was a very hot issue, and that being a oil pipeline that would go from Canada mm -hmm. down through the center of the country into the Gulf. Yes. Um, under the payroll tax extension deal, President Obama needs to make a decision on that pipeline within 60 days. The price for even getting two months extension of the payroll tax cut was to force President Obama to make a decision in 60 days on the XL pipeline. This is taking tar sands from Canada, which causes an enormous amount of carbon pollution, which adds to greenhouse gases and climate change. And then going in a pipeline, there's already a pipeline, and there have been many leaks in, uh, from that pipeline. So it's not a safe pipeline, and it's causing a lot of uh, burning and dependence on the dirtiest uh, source of fuel. What about the notion that we need to get away from a reliance on foreign Mideast oil, mm -hmm. and if we do have oil coming down from Canada, right. that decreases our attachment to the despots that are in the Middle East? Yeah, well, we don't even know if we're going to be using that oil, because oh, really? if it goes to the Gulf, it can be loaded on tankers and taken to China. They will pay uh, for that, uh, that uh, oil just as much as the United States, except the United States and Canada will be producing the pollution and Americans will be suffering from any leak in that pipeline. But we'll all be suffering from the carbon emissions in Canada where they're taking this dirty tar sands and trying to refine it so it can go through a pipeline. Do you have a sense whether President Obama will approve the pipeline under this 60-day window? He said he wanted more time to review the project because Nebraska which was going to be a place where the pipeline was going to run through, said they didn't want it there. So they're redoing the pipeline route. And the president said, I've got to have time to review all the uh, environmental consequences. If he's forced to do it in 60 days, the statement from the administration was that they'll probably say no. So what will have the Republicans accomplished by forcing a decision without a thorough review? How would you vote? On the pipeline. Oh, I would. I'm against the pipeline. I think it's a mistake. It makes us more dependent on, on oil and the dirtiest oil possible from the tar sands. It could be used, uh, brought to the United States, and used in pipe uh, pipelines that can uh, cause uh, a, a poisoning of the uh, water aquifers used in the Midwest. Congressman Waxman, thanks for joining us. He is Henry Waxman. My name is Brian yeah. Pomerantz. Thank you for joining us. Back to HLN. Bravo 2, Bravo 2, this is Ripper 1-9. We're being cut to pieces. We got tanks in the wire and we're bingo on ammo. We need immediate backup. What the heck are you? Uh, gotta hold up, Ripper. My mom's here to get you. You can't come on. My sister's redesigning her block again. You're gonna have to hang tight till they log off. Sorry, dude. Over. Don't let your family hold you back. With Charter Internet, you get faster speeds with more bandwidth, so everyone can do what they want, when they want.